guys, I'm Laura Vitale, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make delicious corn fritters. Perfect since corn season is here, and it's incredibly sweet and delicious. I figured I'd share this recipe with you, but before we get started, let's go over the ingredients. You need some fresh corn kernels, some scallions that I've chopped, whole milk, all-purpose flour, an egg, paprika, baking powder, some hot sauce, salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil, and then you'll need some uh, vegetable oil to fry them in. Now what I've got here is a large skillet with just a little bit of olive oil in there, getting really nice and hot. Now what I have here is some fresh corn kernels that I just cut off, some fresh um, ears of corn. If you want to, you can use uh, canned corn or you can even use um, frozen corn. Uh, just don't saute it. The reason why I'm sauteing it is to just kind of get rid of that um, first sort of raw bite from the corn. It's still going to remain sweet and crunchy. I just want to cook it up for a couple of minutes along with the green onions just to release its flavor and develop a little bit of color. So I've got my pan really nice and hot. I'm going to add in my scallions along with the corn. And I'm going to cook this for just a few minutes or until the corn develops a little bit of color and it just cooks down a tiny little bit and those raw scallions don't have that sort of really raw bite. I sauteed my corn mixture over about medium high heat for just a few minutes and as you can see some of the corn started to develop a little bit of color. I've given it a taste, it's still really nice and sweet, it's got good crunch which is always good. Now I'm going to season this with some salt and pepper and it's kind of crucial that you do this otherwise it's gonna, you're only going to be able to, to salt the crust, which to be honest with you, I like to eat mine with maple syrup. If you haven't tried, you have not lived a fulfilled life. Just trust me. It's incredible. So now we've got that. I'm going to put in here my paprika, baking powder, mix them really nice and light, along with my all-purpose flour. Let's give this a head stir. It's going to be so good. And I'm telling you, when fresh corn is in season, you have no idea how good these can be. Now, if you have had a party yesterday and say you've got some ears of corn left over that you boiled and you just don't know what to do with, you can make the exact same recipe. Just don't saute the corn since it's already partially cooked. That's all. So I've got my egg, I've got my milk, I need a few good dashes of some hot sauce. I like things a little spicy. And then I'm just going to whisk this together. Pour that in, let's move this closer to me, and then just mix everything together. And make sure it looks fantastic. I've got two little spoons here to work with. My oil is up to temperature. You want it to be around 365. I've already tested it with a little teeny tiny piece. And keep a screen, a splatter screen at hand because you are dealing with corn and it can pop and it will pop and you want to make sure that you protect yourself and you're not leaning over the hot pot. So all I do is take little dollops and then just drop them in the hot oil. That is it. So I'm just going to do probably a quarter of the batter because you, what you don't want is to overcrowd the skillet and then the temperature of the oil drops and then it just ends up being a mess and your cakes absorb so much oil. You don't want that. So I'm going to put my screen on now. I'm going to wipe my counter. I'm going to use my handy dandy Clorox disinfecting wipes because they get rid of all the grease, which I love. I fried up all my little fritters and they just take a few minutes. Just make sure you flip them halfway through. Now you can serve these with hot sauce, ketchup, with anything you like, but just listen to me for a second. Go to your refrigerator or your pantry, get out the maple syrup. It's got to be pure maple syrup. That's what I have. It's the only thing I'll ever use. It is magic. You've got to just trust me. It's that extra thing that people do not expect, but once they do it, you can't not do it. So. Here's my maple syrup, here's my corn fritter, so not embarrassed about this. Just do it, let's go. Mm. It's like a savory funnel cake. Hard to describe, incredibly delicious. Head on over to Laura in the kitchen account for the recipe. I hope you enjoy spending time with me and I'll see you next time, bye. Thank you.